Hello, today I'm going to show you what's going on in February 2024 in my uh, greenhouse and what solutions I used to overcome some problems. So here you can see a bit of sulfur, this yellow powder on my Echeverias and why? Check out my uh, short video about that. Now, this back here is a dehumidifier. And I put it three weeks ago and look how much water is already there. So I swapped those two with the new bags and there are more in my greenhouse. And already after a week, there is some water here. Now you may wonder why there is this uh, bamboo stick and a plank um, over there. It's because we had quite a few uh, in succession storms and all those um, sides of were flapping like mud in those strong gusts, uh, gust of winds and um, causing the trays to shift. And you may remember my short video where all some succulents ended up on the floor. And then the same happened on the other side of the greenhouse with my cacti, which I didn't film it. So I'm pleased to report that those sticks and the planks stop the sides moving as bad and since then we had a few more storms and luckily touched the wood nothing uh, happened so it seems uh, to be working it's just a bit messy in here so in spring i will need to tidy it up um, and as you can see some of succulents are starting to bud which is a sign the spring is uh, coming and with uh, regards to cacti, there are some with uh, a few buds as well. Not as many, which is fine, still early days. And uh, this year it wasn't as bad as last year when I had lots of uh, losses. And this year I will show you um, a few what happened, but it's not as bad. And this is my propagation station. So a few echeverias uh, propagating from the leaves and they were all year around in greenhouse, even in winter. And here you may recall this uh, gymnocalysium was um, affected by spider mite and it's looking much better now. It's bouncing back. The problem in winter that I've got uh, this year, it's not the cold as such, it's just humidity. That's why I've got those hum dehumidifiers as well as I put uh, here, you can see this fleece just to absorb as much uh, water, but still some condensation caused a bit of damage. So I lost so far one gymnocalysium and I think three astrophytums and there are two which are on the way out i think next year i may invest into electric dehumidifier which will work much better but it's a big invest invest investment so i will see if i've got money for it so this is Chiveria, i think it's uh, got cold the middle bit was still all right so i will keep it indoors and observe hopefully it will recover but I'm not sure about this astrophytum caput, whether it will bounce back. I will keep an eye on it. And this beautiful astrophytum, uh, look, there is a um, mold on one side. So I will put a bit of uh, sulfur on it and I will keep an eye on it. But if it doesn't work, I may just need to resort to cutting it off and hope for the best. And there is one more pest which I keep on starting to find. Can you see? Snail. So snail and slugs. It's open season now. They are starting to come out and I threw a few out of the greenhouse already. And to finish off, I want to show you my one of Echeverias, which I bought, I think, December. And I kept indoors under grow light and voila, it's flowering. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.